Okay. Sounds good. Looks like we are at the uh, top of the hour. So welcome here to the Frontier Theater. Um, my name is Eric Lassard. I'm a product marketing manager uh, here at Commerce Cloud. I'm here with Jim Lynch, who's a senior product manager. Um, and so today we're going to go through an introduction to Commerce Cloud for developers. So quick show of hands. How many of you are familiar with Commerce Cloud? Great. How many of you are on the partner side today? Great. And how many of you are on the merchant side or the customer side? All right, so we've really got a mixed bag. So today we're going to, to really go through this introduction to Commerce Cloud for developers. Um, and we're going to do that really in three ways. First, I want to remind you to make your purchasing decisions based off of products and services currently available. So we're going to start off by giving you an introduction to who we are as Commerce Cloud. Next, we're going to go into and do a demo of some of our uh, customer examples. Then we're going to get into the platform um, and how we provide common developer tools in our developer framework. And lastly, we're going to get into our extensibility, how we extend into link, uh, link partners in our par partner ecosystem. And this will be really important for our partners in the audience here today. So let's get started. So our mission here at Salesforce is to create connected and unified customer experiences. And this is really critical in the B2C market. Yesterday at the keynote, we talked about, uh, Mark Benioff talked about how traditional B2B retailers are moving into that B2C space. And at Commerce Cloud, we're really at the, uh, at the, the heart of that. We're powering that unified commerce experience and providing uh, integration into other areas um, in order to make uh, that customer, that connected customer, really the heart of, of everything that we do. So who is that connected customer? And this has really changed uh, over the years. Um, the connected customer is really powered by their mobile phone. And the mobile phone is the number one traffic driver for in the retail, retail space. We're seeing 57% of all site traffic come through that mobile device. And we expect that to continue to increase um, this year. Where are they coming in? How are they, how are they using their mobile device? Well, we're going to talk about how we at Commerce Cloud are providing the mobile web experience and how to integrate that um, within, within our, the shopper, shopping uh, experience in the shopper world. We're also seeing integrations into social media. Year over year, social traffic has grown 100%. It's now a really substantial piece and something that retailers are really, um, really, really uh, pushing. We provide integrations into uh, Instagram, Facebook dynamic ads, and other things like Apple Pay to help improve this mobile experience and provide a solution for the connected customer. Mobile is really transforming the retail world. And we're helping traditional retailers catch up. They've come to us saying that they need a way to catch up with this, the, uh, the connected customer and, and the innovations within the digital world. And we're providing that at scale. We're providing that at scale to allow our leading brands um, to not worry about um, their traditional backend integrations. We're powering uh, a number of retail platforms through our comprehensive digital e-commerce experience. So we're powering across mobile, web, social, and in-store. Powered by Einstein, we have Einstein and predictive commerce built in um, through things like product recommendations. So connecting the customers and shoppers to the right product at the right time. Predictive sort, which helps us, <coughs> uh, which helps shoppers uh, organize their search results page. Um, my, search, my search results and your search results through the power of AI will definitely not look, uh, look alike. Things like search and optimizing search through AI um, is really important as well. We're also connecting that to our powerful order management platform. So connecting the warehouse and the back office and fulfillment to, um, to, to your customer, uh, customer experience. And lastly, an extensible partner ecosystem. We have about over 200 partners who integrate within Commerce Cloud through what we call our link network, and we'll talk about that as well. And I mentioned we're doing this at scale. 
So at Commerce Cloud, over the last year, we powered over $21 billion in merchandise sold across 2,700 websites, over 50 countries, and powering over 440 million unique monthly shoppers. <laughs> and we're doing that at some of the leading brands. The leading brands like La Ralph Lauren, like Adidas, who you saw yesterday in the keynote, um, and others. We're empowering these leading brands to deliver customized, personalized, and unified shopping experiences. And that's what we want to show next. We want to show some examples of of customers who are, um, who are, who are doing this. Um, so you can see, and we want to show you a little bit how you can uh, develop this way as well. So I want to turn it over to Jim to, to take us through uh, this piece of the, uh, of the session. Cool, thanks Eric. So yeah, we wanted to show you just some of the things that you can build and some of the experiences and shopper engagements that you can make on top of the Commerce Cloud platform and the tools that we provide our developers to make that happen. Um, so first we're going to walk you through a few of these uh, customer examples. The first one is uh, one of our customer trailblazers, uh, Coach Brands. And, and Coach is a very kind of high-end, luxury-oriented product. And a lot of their website is devoted to the content and rich experience that um, elevates their brand and makes you feel the kind of richness and connectedness to that luxury product and makes you want to buy the purse or the wallet or uh, whatever that the Coach provides. So you can see here, using the Commerce Cloud platform, they have a really content-heavy uh, site experience where you can see um, bestsellers, you can see things that people post on Instagram or different social channels about their products or using their products or bringing them out for a night on the town uh, and that kind of thing. Uh, another customer trailblazer that we wanted to highlight is Adidas. Uh, you might have seen in yesterday's keynote, Mark Benioff is wearing his own custom Adidas Superstar shoes. And he made those with the Adidas uh, website customization platform that you see here. Um, his are kind of plain, they're black with white stripes and they say Dreamforce on them. But maybe if you want to go in here and build a sh shoe that's very uniquely your own, that has a different color for every panel on the screen, or on the, on the shoe, you have the ability to do that. Um, and, and this is a really interesting and unique way to allow shoppers to have a really customized, unique product that is uniquely their own, that they can build right on top of Commerce Cloud and then purchase it through the Adidas website. Um, so you can see here Eric's building a really funky looking uh, Pure Boost shoe, and now he's going to customize, you know, you can customize every panel, the stripes, the soles, the tongue, and once you're done, you can click through, add that product to your cart, and go through the checkout flow really quickly and easily, uh, potentially using Apple Pay if you're using it on the mobile device. Um, another customer trailblazer that we wanted to highlight is Merrill. Um, and Merrill has a really strong mobile user experience that allows a shopper to look at different shoes on their mobile site, find a pair of shoes that they're interested in. And then what Merrill's done is integrated Apple Pay directly into their website. And this is a really interesting and exciting way for a lot of retailers to take advantage of Commerce Cloud in our integration with Apple Pay so that when you find something that you want to buy on a mobile phone, you don't have to break out the keyboard, you don't have to type in your, your address or look up where your credit card is, um, put all that information in. You can use Apple Pay to check out with really quickly and easily, you choose buy with Apple Pay, it has your wallet, it has your payment card information all there, and you're done and on your way. And it's really kind of the closest thing to one-click checkout uh, that you can have built on Tomba Commerce Cloud. And one of the really interesting and exciting things that we at Commerce Cloud provide all of our uh, merchants and all of their development teams to make this happen is our reference architecture um, that you see here. And this is a reference architecture that we provide and build uh, for all of our customers to use as the starting point for their own storefronts built on top of Commerce Cloud. Um, it is a reference code base that we provide as open source. It's uh, mobile first design uh, principles that you see here. Uh, and customers take that code, apply their skin, their customizations, their content, their products, and they're able to hit the ground running really quickly and easily and get their storefront up and running fast. Um, some of the recent redesign elements that we've incorporated into this mobile first version of the reference architecture um, that I wanted to call out is this search bar. Um, we looked at our 500 million, million shopper visits uh, that we see over the course of uh, like the holiday period last year and are able to make some design inferences based on shopper behavior of all those visits. 
Um, one thing that we saw was the search usage on mobile is 30% higher than on desktop. So we wanted to make it really easy to find and use the search bar uh, on the mobile site. One other thing that we've done is incorporate Einstein into uh, various elements of the storefront. So if you click on a product category, uh, so you're looking at dresses here, this leverages Einstein predictive sort. So the list of dresses that I see might be different than the list of dresses that Eric sees based on my past order activity, my browsing activity on the site, different attributes about me as a shopper. So that the things that I see are most relevant to me and the things that I'm most likely to be interested in and want to purchase. Um, Lastly, we've added a sticky Add to Cart button on the product detail page based on some of the data analysis that we did of shopper experiences. Um, what we saw was the easier it is to find the Add to Cart and other call to action buttons on the site, the more likely it was that a customer was able to put a product in their basket and then go through the checkout flow of making that purchase. Because they might scroll down, be looking at some description or detailed information about the product, and then um, the easier it is for them to say, oh, yeah, now I want to buy this, I want to add it to my cart, um, the more likely they are to successfully do that. So it's always there regardless of where you are on the page. So again, this is our mobile-first reference architecture that we provide to all of our customers. Um, when you start a project with Commerce Cloud, you're able to take this, um, hit the ground running, and make it your own site really quickly and easily. So in terms of the different tools and capabilities that we provide to our developers, um, you know, one of the things that I wanted to call out is we are built on top of this platform that is continuously innovating and continuously being updated with the latest and greatest commerce, commerce features that we provide as a product. Um, we did nine major releases in 2016. Uh, we're on track for eight major releases this year in 2017. Um, and all that's instantly available to all of our customers. Um, we do provide a strong set of APIs that are REST-based APIs, and Eric mentioned the Link ecosystem, uh, which is equivalent to the App Exchange for Commerce Cloud. And it allows you to provide or add complementary services to your storefront uh, built on top of, of our uh, core platform. So the other thing that I wanted to point out in terms of like, what technologies and, and frameworks we provide to uh, our developers is We've made a lot of investments in progress over the last couple of years to move towards a open and flexible development architecture and framework for all of you to use. So what that means is we have server-side JavaScript um, as our customization uh, our platform. It's very similar to Node or Express.js if you're familiar with those uh, technologies. Um, we do allow you to roll whatever front-end JavaScript framework you want. Use whatever development tool you want, whether it be uh, VS Code or Sublime Text or Atom. So you have the flexibility to use the tools and technologies that you're most familiar and comfortable with. And all of it's built on top of this uh, cloud platform that keeps the lights on with 99.99% reliability over the 13 or 14 years that we've been in business so that you can rely on us to handle the operations component, make sure that the site's always available and running, and you can worry about doing the work of innovating and providing cool features to your shoppers. And then one of the really exciting things about being brought into the Salesforce Ohana is being able to leverage and align with Salesforce DX. Um, we've made a lot of progress towards a lot of the DX principles just by moving towards these open frameworks and open technologies and having flexibility around tooling. Um, but over the next year or so, we're going to be making a lot more investments in this area as well to provide greater support for a lot of the themes you hear from other you know, DX platforms here around continuous integration and delivery and automation and efficiency. Um, we have a session right up next with Dirk and, and Andrew, who are a couple of my colleagues on the product management team, to speak about this in a lot more detail. Um, but the theme here really is we provide a lot of tools for you to develop and innovate really quickly. We want to also give you the tools and capabilities to uh, push that code to a development environment or a testing environment, run a bunch of automated tests against it, validate that it's working, um, push it out to production really quickly, and do that all really efficiently and in an automated way. So again, you don't have to worry about handling all that stuff. You can run a script and make that get done and worry about whatever next feature you want to build into your store. So again, we have a session just up next uh, to dive into that in, in a little bit more detail as well. Lastly, I want to dig into our Link Technology Partnership in a little bit more detail. 
Um, so Link is basically our equivalent of App Exchange, as I mentioned. And what it is is an ecosystem of 250 or so partners that provide out of the box extensions to Commerce Cloud to allow you as a merchant to add in things like ratings and reviews, product recommendations, tax uh, calculator, shipping, payment information, or payment integrations, I should say. Um, and all that's available in our Link Marketplace. It's there so that you can install it and configure it and get those extensions up and running really quickly and easy, easily in a scalable way so that, again, you don't have to worry about integrating all that stuff yourself manually. Um, you know, one of the really exciting things about being part of Salesforce 2 is we're going to be moving more towards the app exchange and kind of integrating and aligning with that marketplace as well over the next couple of years. Uh, if you do happen to be a partner ISV uh, and you, know, you see the Link Technology Partner Program and you think maybe this is an opportunity for you to provide your services to Commerce Cloud customers, you know, provide extensions to Storefront or other commerce kind of uh, use cases, uh, de definitely let us know afterwards or come by the booth uh, booth in the developer forest or the campground, uh, we can give you some more information about that program as well. So we do have a lot of content here at uh, Dreamforce uh, so that you can become a Commerce Cloud Trailblazer. Uh, we do have a booth here in the developer forest. We have one in the campground, as I mentioned. Uh, and we have a marketing and commerce lodge in the Palace Hotel, which has all of the content around Commerce Cloud that you could ever want. Um, we have some information available on developer.salesforce.com and some of our other web properties. Uh, we have uh, some trailheads for learning Commerce Cloud basics and some advanced features around Commerce Cloud. Um, we are going to be building out a lot more developer-oriented content into Trailhead over the coming year as well, which I think is really exciting as a developer to be able to use the Trailhead platform to expand your knowledge base into, into Commerce Cloud, get certified on us as a platform, and, and you know, be able to expand your skill set there as well. So I think we have a couple minutes left. I wanted to thank you all for joining us today. Um, I know uh, we've covered a lot in the last you know, 20 minutes or so, but if you have any questions, definitely happy to answer them. Otherwise, uh, I encourage you to visit us at the booth or, or come to one of the other Commerce Cloud sessions, or even just stick around here and, and hear more from Andrew and Dirk about uh, some of the DX-related stuff we're working on, too. So thanks, everyone. <laughs>